love it friends it's a long time since I didn't make a video I know I'm sorry uh, but um, it was been a very very strange uh, period very long period uh, with a lot of changes and uh, I, I just needed time for myself and so I, I took this time so I'm sorry for uh, everyone who searched for me and uh, I didn't answer but uh, I really need to, to be to be quiet and um, so that there's nothing else that, that I can say just I'm sorry but I'm back <laughs> and in this video uh, that uh, will be no a tutorial but uh, I just want to show you some things uh, I've made during this period they are some earrings and nothing special because I've used the, the, the same patterns that I showed you in some of the previous videos so nothing new uh, not a tutorial but um, as always I, I enjoy to show you all, uh, all the things that I do and uh, I hope that these things can be an inspiration for you for your uh, for your beadwork and so that's all. Now I, I will show you the earrings. Again, I'm so sorry, but I'm back and uh, see you soon on the next video. Bye bye! Maybe you remember this earring. The, this was the earring of the previous tutorial and I've made several um, earrings using the same pattern and super duo beads. But uh, one uh, earring I made uh, was made with uh, uh, twin beads. The two earrings uh, look uh, very similar, but they aren't. Uh, the problem uh, with uh, twin beads uh, is that they are not so regular in the shape, and um, so the, the final result of the earring can be different from one another. So I, I suggest you to, to use super duo beads to create this kind of earrings uh, because. Um, Maybe you are not so lucky and uh, you cannot uh, get the same result with the, with the earring and also you have to choose one by one the twin bead you need because uh, you have to choose the, the right size and the right shape of twin bead. So for sure I think it's better to use super duo beads for this kind of beadwork. Using exactly the same uh, pattern and the same size of uh, Swarovski crystal inside the, the, the bezel, I've made three earrings uh, with uh, super duo beads. This is the first one, and I want to show you the difference between this uh, green uh, earring and the one in the tutorial. As you can see here, for uh, the green uh, earring, I've made just one round for uh, the outer decoration here as you can see we have two rounds of silver beads here I have one round of beads and another difference is that here for uh, the picot I have used uh, four beads to fill the empty spaces between uh, the beads while here I've used five seed beads size 15 so this is the difference then I made another one here with the red Swarovski crystal inside and uh, some kind of uh, marble <laughs> marble red beads and brown seed beads size 15 nothing special and the last one is this I used two colors of beads, grey color and a kind of violet color and inside there is a violet Swarovski crystal and this is the effect, as you can see here I made two rounds of decoration and then the last one is this earring as you can see this earring is smaller than the previous one because in this uh, case I've used a Swarovski crystal size 12 instead of 14. This, uh, this earring was been uh, very hard to make because 
First of all, I have started with 12 bits instead of 13. Then, as you can see here in the, in the middle of the beadwork, I have put silver seed beads, size 15, after 2 beads. While here there is one silver seed bead to separate each super duo beads. But the, the very hard things to do was to uh, close the back part because um, very often the thread broke up and also I had to fill the empty space inside the bezel with some paper because the, the Swarovski crystal was too small for, um, for the bezel but the problem is I cannot start with uh, a smaller quantity of uh, Super Duo bits because if I started with um, less than 12 Super Duo bits then uh, the bezel didn't um, surround and uh, I, I couldn't close the, the, the beadwork in, in the back so if you want you can try because the, the final effect is uh, very very nice but it's very very hard and you need a lot of patience so I want to repeat the difference between these two earrings in this case you have to start with 12 super duo beads and you have to put one silver seed bead size 15 after two super duo beads as you can see and then you need to fill the empty space in the back part of the earring uh, with some paper because in this way the crystal inside the bezel doesn't move okay so for now that's all i hope that these earrings can be an inspiration for you and see you soon on the next video bye bye